what I call attitude. Praise from a legendary bass player. Alfonso Johnson played with Santana, Genesis, Weather Report, and many others. Here he's giving amateur musicians some pointers. To be able to touch someone through the music, to, to reach into someone and change the way that they feel about that moment, that's the good bass player, a good musician, period. The location is Warwick Bass's factory in Mark Neukirchen, Saxony. Hans-Peter Wilfer founded the company in 1982. At first, hardly anyone took notice of the bases made in Germany, English name or not. This is the instrument that made the breakthrough. It belonged to John Entwistle, former bass player for The Who in the late 1980s. Back then it was real rock and roll, whether at the trade fairs or parties going through the night, or when John trashed a room at the Savoy Hotel in Frankfurt. Even if it got smashed to pieces on stage, a Warwick in the hands of a superstar brought new customers. Every bass produced by Warwick in Germany is one of a kind. The wood used, the design, and the number of pickups are a matter of the buyer's preference and the price. A base can cost anywhere from 2,500 to 25,000 euros. The orders range from 50 to 150 instruments per month, not enough to keep the company afloat. Warwick has its more basic models made in China and Korea under the company's strict supervision to make sure they live up to its quality standards. Without our production in China, we couldn't survive because to a great extent we finance our location in Germany from the profits we make on the models from China. We have to have that financial boost, but you should bear in mind that our product development, our creativity is here. In 1995, Hans-Peter Wilfer moved the company from Bavaria to Saxony, close to the Czech border. He says he happened upon Mark Neukirchen by chance. The town has a long tradition for instrument making. At one time, it was the foundation of its prosperity. Nowadays, production is on a modest scale. Even after 20 years, the factory still doesn't quite fit into the townscape. But Warwick has put Mark Neukirchen back on the international music scene's map especially for one week in the year, when 30 world-famous musicians get together with some 80 amateurs. Not all of them play Warwick basses, but the gathering serves its purpose even so. I'm convinced that in the long term, this is a smart marketing strategy. It has far-reaching effects. Because the ones who've been here take something away with them. Not just an advertising slogan or a brochure, they take an experience with them. And that experience goes on right through the night, when the local pub is turned into a stage. Big names in jazz and rock jam with unknowns. And this is where it's happening.